Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, in this example, forget about the number on the outside for a second. That's kind of weird. That's shut off. Oh, I did switch. OK. So let's go and take a look at this. If I, I can break up this automatically into 128 times negative 1. Everybody agrees with me? Now, can you take the square root of 128? No. No. 128 is not one of those square numbers I found, right? However, does one of those square numbers, the lar what is the largest one of the square numbers that actually divides into 128? 128 is not one. It's, I have all the square numbers up to 225 written over there. But what square number, though, goes in there? 64. 64. So do you guys agree with me that still my, radic my radicand is still the exact same as negative 128? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what's nice about doing it this way is, again, remember, you can do their square root separately. What is the square root of 64? 8. 8. So that is 3 times this, right? Three times. So it's 3 times 8. Can I take the square root of 2? No. no. Can I take the square root of negative 1? No. Now do you, no, but I can rewrite that as i. Now, I want to let you guys know, this is perfectly fine, and it's correct. However, in math, a lot of students will make mistakes by putting the square root over i. And we don't want you to make that mistake, because you're not taking the square root of i. The square root of negative 1 is i. There's no square root of i that we're doing right. Yes? Does i represent only negative 1 and does it also represent other negative Well, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't, uh, i doesn't rep, like this doesn't equal i. But could you say that negative 2 equals i? No. no. What do you mean negative 2 equals i? No. Square root of negative 2 is equal to the square root of negative, I'm sorry, of 2 times negative 1. Square root of negative 1 is i. Square root of 2, i. Okay, I represents the square, negative square root. Hold on, let me finish this problem, then I'll answer your two questions. All I want you guys to do is instead of writing the I after the square root, always write the I in front of the square root. So that would be your final answer. And then I multiplied the 3 times the 8 because those are outside the radical. Yes? Does this imaginary 